Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dead State Reanimated. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today as we talk to Gillian, who is back after a trip. And, uh, well, we need to deal with her, we need to defuse this situation. Um, so, yeah. So she has Aspergers, apparently. I didn't really notice her, that from her, the way she talks, although it might be more about the way she acts more than actually the way she talks. So, yeah. Davis told us that she had Aspergers, and, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, let's give it a chance, that's, or maybe this one is better, I've, I've been thinking, basically there's, I mean, just, I can't make up my mind, it's, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, guys, sorry, but I've been thinking of going with either this one or this one, but now I'm rationalizing this one a little bit better, because she's not trying to be mean right there, I don't think. She's being practical, and if that will tell me something about her personality, that she is pragmatic and practical, although I don't know if that is the case. She seemed to be a little bit passionate about her job and about her boss. Uh, not in Maybe not in the love sense, but I, I can't make up my mind. I don't know what I should say, but I'm going to go with the first one, because that's, that's the one I was going to go for before I started recording the episode. So yeah, he said you were gone for the whole day yesterday. What happened, Gillian? Well, I went out scavenging. Didn't find much. Just wanted to get to know the area. I'll have better luck in the future. Um, let's let's go with the second one. Seems like the best one. I understand you're helping, and I appreciate that. But you can't just sleep away like that in the future. You you have to tell someone that you're leaving. Okay. Yeah, I guess people might have gotten worried or something. Sorry, I'm not really used to that. I'll tell you before I go out next time. Thank you, Gillen. We'll talk more about that later. Okay, just go slowly. Okay, so I didn't convince her not to go out alone. But, sure, whatever. Hey, Grant, what's up? Uh, yeah, about the camp. That camp, I know there's people here who might not be... Who might not have the stomach to uh, take those resources. But if you reconsider, I bet there's some people here who could be discreet about a return visit. What camp? The army camp? What? Uh... About that camp. I know there's people here who would might who might not have the stomach to talk to, to take those resources. Oh, it's the um, Oh yeah, okay, so it's the yeah, so he's talking not a return visit for us, a return visit for him. He's talking about I think Oh wait a minute, attacking those people? Oh, oh the guys that we've met before? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not attacking those people. They have every right, right to live in peace. What the hell? Well, when we start to run out of food, will you still be there? Uh, will, will you still think they're more deserving than us? I'm sure you've thought it through. We can always take the leftovers from whoever takes it from them. Well, I this is not an open for discussion. Don't bring it up again. Sure, you're the boss. I go where you need me. You don't like that idea? I'm sure there's another way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, hey, hoping I'd, see, hoping I'd see you around this morning. Took a lot, uh, took a look around the school, and I thought I'd offer up my criticisms and ideas based on my expertise. Yeah, sure, uh, let's hear it. Right then, well, let's see. I'll walk the perimeter first. Y'all got a good fence out there. Not leaving a gap for those smelly bastards in is the uh, most important thing for protecting your land. I saw you got a chicken coop. That's good. Eggs are a pretty cheap source of protein, and you put some hot sauce on them, and you got a breakfast. Saw the garden bins up on the roof. That's smart. Grow yourself some chili fixins and beans and peppers, tomatoes, chilies. Uh, yeah. Any Mexican here will, will know how to take care of the, all, of, all of that. Are you being racist or are you being Mexican? I is he Mexican? I think he's just a redneck. Isn't he a redneck? Is that I I don't know. Is he talking about himself or is he talking about I don't we don't have Mexicans here I don't think or maybe we do. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. Um yeah that's it I think. Oh uh, oh one thing I could do for y'all is uh well get you a mushroom patch going. It's a bit advanced seeing as how bad mushrooms can kill you and all, but I know what I'm doing. Learned my lesson when I was gathering up wild mushrooms and ate one of them magic ones. After I got better, I learned from my uncle the proper way to grow and identify them. Huh, mushroom patch. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And tasty as well. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are amazing. Okay then, you get me the materials and I'll put one in the basement. As long as you know what you're doing, nothing dangerous about it. Okay, thanks, Troy. We'll talk about it later. 
Hey, Anita, what is up? A lot of people coming up to us today. That's good. You know, I'm not the type to try and skip work, James, but my stomach's having a tantrum today. <sighs> uh, too much bad food while I was driving my rig, I think. Uh, but there's not exactly a whole lot of health food, health food places hanging around the interstates, you know? Well, if you're bringing it up, it's probably worse than you're trying. You're letting on. Rest and keep a careful eye on it, okay? Oh, don't you fuss over me. I can't buy that. But if you stay, if you say to rest, I have no, I won't say no. Yeah, but I won't have anyone lose any time by trying to diagnose something terrible from a little stomach, a little stomach upset. All right, if you say so. I hope you feel better soon. And don't forget that she's infected as well, which is pretty bad. And probably might be bad for antibiotics and stuff like that. I'd rather she didn't die. I really would rather she didn't die. But anyway, let's check the radio. And let's also talk to Regina. We need to meet her. I don't know where she is. But let's talk to the radio. Okay, so for, not talk to the radio. Hear the radio. Let's see. This is DJ Lane bringing you sounds of life in a dead world. Oh, come on. I can, I can do better than that. No, I guess I can't. I don't even know if anyone is listening. Nothing on the radio. Tired, tired of these walls, but yet I carry on because I care. I do. I didn't always care much about people, but the apocalypse will do odd things to you. I'm worried about you, May, Tommy and daughter, Georgia, Devin, Dona. Oh, wait. Dona's gone. I need to know you are alive. You're all alive. Get on the radio. It's important to... Okay, you'll listen for another minute, but there's nothing but static. What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Is he gone? Is he dead? No, that would make no sense. He would, if, from a game design standpoint, he probably would say something in relation to him being in danger or something. But the last thing it was a, wasn't it a, a big leopard or something that was going around his place? Okay, so we're working on the lab. I think somebody... So that's Grant here. People are working on the lab. I need to talk to Regina. I have no idea where she is. Let's check, check the job board here. We got a lane over there. We got a Craig. She might be outside. Yeah, we need to check the job board because we're going to remove somebody from the guard duty. Let's see. Regina. So let's see. Guard. Who's guarding? Who's guarding? Okay, so Lightning. Ephraim will not guard anymore. He's going to go for maintenance. Uh, and I... Yeah, today is going to be a healing day as well. So... We're gonna continue working on the science lab. We got, um, actually, I'm gonna remove you. Mechanists, you can't really do anything. So can you build something, can you repair? No, okay, just stay there then. Uh, because I need the new guys to go, who has no job. We got Gillian. So Gillian, what can you do? She can work on the science lab, that's good. Uh, Joel, what can you do? Joel uh, can relaxation, that's fine. But first, let's have uh, where's the, where's the dog? Where's the dog? No job. No job. That's Pepper. Okay, so job Guard duty. What's her health? Oh, she's pretty healthy. That's pretty good um, So the god the dogs are gonna be guarding. That's good. We got some farmers. We got some stuff Jody is working on arrows. That's all fine. We got hospitality. We got Joel over here. That's not really working on anything It's probably gonna go for relaxation. We got Sandy. So who's the new guys? That's Troy right there Troy is in self-defense training. Forget about that. Go for relaxation. I don't care. You're in a bad mood. Uh, and we have Parisa as well. She's in shooting practice, and uh, I need somebody to leave. Relaxation. Oh, Karen is gonna stay there. Jennifer, she's gonna go for self defense for sure. Why not? And Parisa. Actually, Parisa could probably work. No, she can't. Yeah, so she's gonna go for relaxation. Relax it, no relaxation. Relaxation. Joel can't really do anything. He can do shooting practice. Why not? Doesn't really matter. And that's gonna be it for right now. I want today to read some stuff. I said last episode that I was gonna prepare. I didn't get a chance. So Max is gonna stay there healing. I need that thing to go away. He's gonna stay there for as long as it takes for that to go away. But I also need to talk to Regina. So let's find her. And uh, then I will... Oh, there she is. There she is. And I will uh, read the, the stuff on the next page for the data items. So Regina, what's up? Boss. So... um. I could use your support in our meetings. I didn't ask her that. Well, you could have sent me pa packing at the gate, so I suppose I owe you. On the other hand, I don't really know you, so why would I get you back? What do you want? You look the other way while I take 10 things I want from storage? Maybe, just maybe, I'll throw you a bone next meeting. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Forget it. Yeah, I don't really need her support. Morale-wise, it's everything is going well if she doesn't agree with me. I mean, maybe maybe she's pragmatical enough that her ideas is gonna are going to be... uh. 
are gonna align with mine, but anyway. I need you to leave Todd alone. What? Did that holy dick licker tell on me? Well, so what? He's no better than a con man. Who else would roll up on a joint, do nothing, and reap all the rewards? Oh, religious man, fucking tell you. Sometimes I think I joined the wrong gang. Oh, I guess what I'm saying is, let me take 15 rations from the storage and I'll let his bon bony ass testify until the archangels swoop down and tell him to shut the fuck up. But I still got to la get to laugh at him. I can't help that. Well... I usually... W Let's go with this one. I'm not gonna negotiate with her. I usually wouldn't hit a woman. But if you keep bothering him, I will take you down myself. Ha! <laughs> I had you pegged all wrong. That shit almost made me feel like I was a coyote again. Okay, you bought my silence. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go get some snacks. Sure, you do that. So that's taken care of. Uh, did anybody else need to... Actually, I need... I wanted to... Talk. Maybe I should have talked talk to... Talk. If I didn't have... If she didn't have asked for... Or if I didn't have asked for what she wanted for Troy, maybe I could have talked to Troy as well. And, uh... Made sure that he wouldn't be pestering, pestering her, although that sounds like it's the other way around. Uh, so, yeah. Let me read. Let's actually look. Let's let's see if I can read some of these of my own. Is that Doug? That's Doug. Doug's fine. Doug doesn't really talk to me too much. Uh, so, let's go here. Read some data. And we're going to have... Oh, we still haven't read this once. Oh, I, I think I wrote this down. Yeah. This is bookmark. Let's read these three. Bookmark. Uh-huh. Okay. All this stuff that's going on lately has had me glued to the TV news and the internet. I'm not near, near any major cities, but I'm still not sleeping and I have my 38 at my side at all times. I only have one close neighbor, he's retired, not too old, generally nice guy. I'm worried because when I went over this morning to talk to him about pulling our resources, he seemed out of it. His eyes were red, he was coughing and his skin looked clammy. He looked terrible, I mean, he looked like death itself. He said he just had a fever, but I'm not sure. I've been reading all of the reports and I'm really scared he might have the sickness and will transmit it to me. I don't really know what to do, but I feel like I should go over and see if he's gotten worse. But what if he does have it? What is my responsibility? I'm really stressed here. Are you stupid? Somebody else says. If you've been glued to the news, then you know the only way to deal with an infected person is to destroy the brain. It's the only way to be sure. Yeah, call the police or the hotline number. Let them handle it. My phone seems to be down, says the guy. I only have internet because I had a T1 put in for a business that still seems to be running. I would call them if I could. I feel nauseous. Nauseous. Don't be a pussy. Just get it over with. Get it together. Breathe. Pick up your gun and walk over there. Look him in the eye. Listen to your gut. You think he's infected? You pull the trigger. Then you wait. Make sure he's dead. Before any of you assholes out there call me a psycho, I live in Clearwater. FL. That's... Some state, I guess. Uh, I have no idea. Florida. Florida. That's Florida. And I've had to uh, deal with one of those bastards personally. I was going out to my garage and it was in my driveway. I saw him, It saw me and started walking towards me. I could tell there wasn't no way that thing was normal anymore. I've been strapped for years, so I was able to shoot it before it got too close. Took six shots before it didn't get up no more. Just think, if I hadn't shot it, I could it could have killed or infected me. Every sick individual you kill, you save a life. So after you read this, Mr. Manager, I do hope you will take my words to heart and do what needs to be done. Everybody, everyone out there needs to start taking responsibility for their own lives. Words to live by, says somebody else. Uh, beware the noob chucks. <laughs> uh, I wish to. I I wish one of those things would come around. Would come around here. I was up on the roof looking through my NV scope all night vision. Yeah, night vision scope all night for nothing. <laughs> what, do I think he did it? Says. Uh, oh, the manager is back. Manager Steve. Although it might be a different one. No, it's the same one. Okay. I think I killed my neighbor. He says. I went over there, pushed open the door, and I don't know. I just fired when he turned to the corner. There was a lot of blood. He was still alive when I left. He said, he said, told me he had a bad fever. That's what he is saying. There was cold medicine all over his kitchen. He's still over there. I don't think he had it. He's probably dead now. What did I do the right, what, what did I do the right thing? I feel lightheaded. It's quiet. I don't think he's alive anymore. He was sick. He must have had it. Feel lightheaded. I should try my phone again. Maybe I can fix this. Well, well, you're, you're going to find out pretty soon if he had it. So that's 
not that one. Let's try and find out what the next one is. So we got seven over there. No, that was not that one. I don't remember which one that is. I should have checked. Nine. Nope. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna. There we go. This might be better for my scrolling thing. So seven is not it. Damn it. Five. Nope. I think it was the latter ones. Yeah, can fix this. So it's the sixth one. It's the sixth one. Maybe I can fix this. Huh. It's gonna go well. Not. Let's see, the seventh, no. I need to click the wrong one. Let's go for the seventh one and see if the... Hold on. Am I clicking the right thing? I am. Yeah, Flarn thing. Okay, so the present of Desiglard. Okay, so that it, it doesn't... It doesn't continue the uh, the thing. It doesn't continue the, 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 the tale there. Let's read the other one. Because I still have them written down. This one is called insisted or it's whatever the password is insisted Dwight no that's Dwight talking Dwight and men and that's all they're talking Mitch we've spotted several men across the street oh that's the guy that's the guy from the KLAG KLAJ the the thing so the the news no, the news reporter Mitch is the Mitch is the guy on back on the on the He's not gonna talk though. Uh, back on the the studio, Mitch. We've spotted several men across the street. We're attempting to flag them down, sir. Excuse me, but would one of you? Ah, uh, you're from the news, brother. We're still doing that. Yeah, this is live. Can I ask you a few questions? All right, but not like anyone's gonna see it. I ain't no had no power since yesterday. No power in the whole area. You're surprised? Hard to get them to come on a good day. Oh, what's the situation here? The situation? <laughs> and somebody else laughs. Now, take a look around you. Bells is ringing. Armageddon, man. Armageddon? Look, cops been waiting a war for a long time, and they ain't left us no choice. And now that you got shit like this, like niggas coming back, yeah, got you got shit like niggas coming back from the, uh, from the dead, it's like the Bible says, you know, Judgment Day and shit. Uh, so have police tried to control the infection in the area? Hells no, people ain't no fucking controlling the shit around here. They got tanks and guns and grenades, man, I... I watched him shoot a pregnant woman. Dead people can't scare me. There's a lot of other shit that's got that's way scarier than that. Can you be more specific? Uh, this is the end of times. Lots of folks around here got things to settle, you know. Do you mean gang warfare? I mean like the final battle, like this, like with Thor and shit. Ragnarok? Yeah. Personally, I if I'm gonna die, I might as well be in a nicer place than this. So you're, you're gonna try to flee the area. Me? Hell yeah, I'm trying to get out. If I was you, I'd get I'd get yourself into a news helicopter and get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, thank you for... Oh, shit! Here they come! Oh, shit! Sound of men running. Dwight, to the cameraman. We need to head back to the... F and shots fired. A male scream. Okay, but that that's the second one. Something happens after that. The third one. This is Dwight Westlake, reporting from the KLAJ News Van. James, our cameraman, has been shot. Dead. He's been shot dead. Folks... Oh, that's Mitch. Folks, this is an indeed a great day for the KLAJ News team. What's happening there, Dwight? And we have read this one before. I don't think there's something wrong with those people. Yeah, they're finding the zombies. Uh, or the dead. Uh, let's see what happens there. That's the last one, I think. Hopefully it, hopefully it is. Uh, this one is artificial. Uh, and let's see what happens. It is. It's the last one. Just a reminder to our viewers, says Mitch. Government agencies are suggesting that contact with infected is to be avoided and reported if possible. If you're wondering what they might look like, let's rerun that clip. You're seeing fire first-hand footage of them. How would you describe them, Dwight? Uh, they look dead is the best way to describe them. Too injured to actually be walking. Oh, there's another... You can't see it, but there's another group of them down one of these side roads. Oh man, that's uh, 20 or so individuals. Which part of town is this, says Mitch. Well, I'm going to say I'm running parallel with Crenshaw Boulevard right now. Uh, are you seeing any signs of order around here? Around there? Uh, yeah, far from it. I'm not sure if this area has been evacuated, but I'm not seeing any signs of life here. Uh, well, I'm noticing on your feet that there's a... Dwight says, oh, this isn't good. There seems to be a massive pileup here in front of the overpass. Not sure I'm, go not sure I'm going to be able to continue on this direction or in this direction. Seems like there's someone moving around in that car on your right, says Mitch. Yeah, I'm seeing a few people here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a lot of blood on the streets here. And, uh, oh, Mitch, Mitch says, there's definitely something moving behind you, that truck. Behind that truck there. Yeah, I'm trying to get a visual. There might be some injured people out there. Uh, no, 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 there's something wrong here. There's a lot of movement now. Yeah, we see it here. Yeah, I'm, go I'm, I'm going to, oh, jeez, I'm, I'm looking in the back mirror. There's about 30 or 40 individuals coming up behind the van. 
Can you drive out of there? Ah, uh, there's a fence on both sides of me. Oh, I'm going to hide out in the... I'm going to hide out in the back of the vehicle for now. They might not have seen me. Po poss possibly they'll pass. I'm leaving my mic on. Stacy, uh, are we still showing the feed? Look at look at all of them. Yeah, definitely some individuals around the back of the van now. Brushing up against the side here. Uh, that's, um, are they shaking the vehicle? Oh, yeah. Can you hear that sound? Are they picking up the, wa the wailing? Yeah, we are. I, I don't have a means to defend myself here. Hold tight, Dwight. We're trying to see if we can get Commissioner Barry back on the phone. Oh, boy. Uh, they're really shaking the van now. I'm afraid uh, it's, it's going to tip. I just want to say to my wife, Den Denise, I love you. I love you, Denise. If you're watching, I want you to turn off the television now, okay? I love you. I'm sorry. Can you... Mitch says, we seem to have... We've lost the signal here. Uh, that was the voice of Dwight Westlake you were hearing. We're going to see if we can uh, reconnect with him. Stay uh, stay tuned to the KLAJ for up, for up to the minute. Breaking news. We'll be right back. Man. That guy just gone. Yep. I mean, it was in the it was in the middle of it all. I mean, you really did, couldn't expect too much. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that one. Let's start with the last one. Yeah, I like the ones with the numbers. Now that I know how they work, well, I knew how they worked. It's just that I. It's, oh, that's the numbers. Okay, so that's soup. That's gotta be soup. Let's write soup down. Soup it is. Uh, ooh, unknown intercept frequency three three sixty four two thousand transcape follows cavity from the. Activity from the satellite still seeing hits in a few countries, trying to narrow down locations and hit counts. Others are out there. It's a, a still a, it's a race to see who becomes a world leader, a world power. The biggest threat out there right now is something. War. War never changes. Yep. I mean, maybe. This is terrorist, isn't it? No. Tur it looks like terror. It's written right there. Terristo. What is that? I've never... I'm. It can't be tourist because it doesn't have any U, so I'm not, I'm not gonna know that one. Let's look around a little bit more. Yeah, right. Silhouette, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna check. Oh, this one is easy. Dinosaur. I don't know how to write it, but I think it's this one. Yeah, there it is. So, CDC field report number seven. Dr. Alil. Oh, that's uh, the CDC report. Short report. Just got the labs. Uh, back in order after the move. Would have appreciated a bit more notice, especially since many of the samples we have must be kept in very sterile, temperature-controlled conditions. But at the very least, I'm proud to report that we only have lost 14 of the samples, 14% of the samples, and less than 3% of the raw data. This is, I should clarify, above my listed expectations for what I had stated in a previous meeting. When asked when the risk might be moving, uh, the when the, when the risk might be moving, might be, what? When asked what the risk might be for moving the facility, uh, so yeah, what that's what she said before. And I would stress that the situation I had in mind was an ordinary move, not a sudden and unexpected move. I wish to confirm that I am bringing this up for n not for irritation, from irritation I mean, but uh, to credit my team for their professionalism and hard work. The new location is, I must sadly report, suboptimal. The inconsistent nature of the topography had required a reorganization of the building and vehicle lab layout that is currently slowing work as my researchers uh, have to remember where everything is. I ended my shift yesterday to find someone asleep in my bunk. I suggest uh, we are allowed to write our names on them so as to dis dissuade all but the dead tired. I will not name names for the person I found, as I believed they were in fact exhausted from a long shift. And I will do them that kindness of keeping it quiet this time. Oh man, she is fair, but not really too kind-hearted, I, I would think. Oh boy. Oh, this is worse. That's gonna be... Bat... Batba? Batba? What the hell is that? Heat... Heat... Heat could be heat? Heat... Heat stroke? No. Heat ba... Heat ba... Whoa, that, that one is hard. Let's go here. Let's go for... Um, uh, let's go... Let's go from up here. Yeah, let's go with that one. That's... Uh, gymnastics. Gymnastics. It's, it's... It's not. It's not. Uh, not really finding any easy ones, right? Oh, that's an easy one. Okay, so this one is ba ba balls. No, it can't be. Could be no. It's ball ball I don't know. Anyway, let me let me look into these ones and I'll find some something better instead of being here on camera just saying weird stuff on camera. I'll be right back. 
And I'm back. I know three more things. And, uh, well, the first one was actually fairly easy. Just me that I couldn't get into it. It's actually the best thing that mankind has ever created. So there it is. Uh, let's see. Attention, all departments. Subject to outbreak procedures in the past 24 hours, several cities, including the, including New York, Miami, Dallas, and San Francisco, have reported incidents related to the new strain of virus that caused a unique change in uh, infected individuals, making them prone to irrational and, or violent behavior. As a precaution, new procedures have been created to apprehend subjects without causing additional panic in the general populace or inviting legal recourse or press attention to the police action. Starting immediately, these are the... Uh, official guidelines when approaching an infected individual. Number one, check the individual for signs that they are sick and not merely panicking or ine inebriated. Symptoms of infection include glossy eyes, sores, pale skin and impaired coordination. If the subject uh, exhibits signs of illness, all response teams should do... should don level... oh, don, yeah. Should don level one protective uh, medical e gear. See your superior officer about acquiring a kit which could include latex gloves, a surgical mask, and hand sanitizer. D uh, number three, address the subject as sir or ma'am and uh, get their attention. Try to elicit a verbal response with the phrase, can you tell me your name? You may have to repeat these phrases. If the subject continues to move towards your position, use the phrase, I need you to stay where you are. You may repeat this uh, more... Uh, th what? You may repeat this in a more forceful manner if they continue to advance. If the subject ignores all warnings and clearly shows intent to harm an officer, subdue the individual with your police baton. Make sure to try and prevent fluids from coming into contact with orifices or broken skin of you or your fellow officers. Keep the individual face down until they are handcuffed. Do not use excessive force. Report a code 960 to your dispatch officer. The dispatch officer will contact either a county special response team or emergency medical personnel depending on the size of your district. Make sure the suspect remains restrained when handing them over to the response unit. Number eight, and last, disinfect any part of the body that came into contact with the individual. If you suspect that infected blood or other flu fluid entered your body during the altercation, alert your supervisor immediately. You may be ordered off duty for an examination. This procedure should be adopted by all police officers immediately. These procedures have been designated by state and federal authorities. Officers that act out of accordance with these regulations may be subject to disciplinary actions. Yeah, can you imagine being in a place like this, being in a situation like this where you get infected and you know you're infected? And it's because it is a death sentence, to them anyway, it's a death sentence, but you need to say, hey, I'm gonna die here, otherwise you might infect other individuals, but it's like there's a false sense of illusion, there's a false sense, an illusion that uh, you are not destined to die if you don't say anything, but that's of course not true. Yeah. You know, every single dead cop that we see out there, basically, that's that might be what happened. It might be what happened. The second one is tomatoes. And there it is. Uh, Howard 50. Breathing weird. That's... Oh, that's the college, sci college, college scientist notes part 3. Breathing weird. That's new. More pills, important work, saving the world. Wrote up a paper, but too much work. We need to some old school kite in lightning storm science. Testing proves difficult, can test with lab on animals not affected, need samples, need to gather samples, dangerous, need control group and test subjects, volunteers, probably not, and again, life or death desperation may be working in my favor. No internet, need to get my findings out to, to a lab capable of testing, testing dead. Uh, dead people that walk and bite, can I draw blood sample? No, no, it's for, for undergrads, HA. Uh, what is HA? I don't know. Uh, or HA, maybe. I need to get to internet in lab. Car out back. Compass looks clear. Back, back, backed. Rats fed. Must go on for science. Yeah, man. You do that. You do that. Uh, and we have another one that I also checked. That is a politics. I didn't write it down, but I remember. There we go. This is the greeter log. Number one. SPC RJ Rachels. I would think that with a military time right there, it is from the, the army. Have we read this one before? Let's let's give it a shot here. Let's see. So the greeter logs number. Oh yeah, we have read. This is the first one. 
Despite my objection, oh, I think it is the the girl that's in a in the army camp that we've read before. Despite my objections, I have been put in charge of chief residence interaction at the Fort Stockton Shelter, or a greeter, really, for the people seeking refuge here. After their personal information is taken by the yard staff, they are sent to me individually or as a family to be welcomed and briefed. It is not really a briefing so much as it is an interview disguised as a friendly face. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm the first defense against any problem occupants. I ask them a series of questions politely and write them a coded answer to the past to be passed on to the guys who are ready to get their hands dirty. I'm retyping the script here just to get used to it. Number one, smile at them to make them feel welcome. Say welcome, tell them they are safe here, but to ensure the safety of others, a small entrance interview must be administered as a formality. Assure them that it's a standard operating policy at this point. Casual casually scan their persons for signs of injury, noting anything that could be a bite. If there are signs of injury, write B on the number of injuries spotted in the square next to your evaluation. Ask them where they are coming from, consult current list of red flag areas. If they are coming from a high risk area, mark the letter R in the square to the right. Ask them if they uh, have any injuries that need to be treated, look for signs that they may be upset by these questions or trying to cover a portion of their body with a hand or personal item. If they answer positively to having injuries or appear to be hiding one, write W in the square. Man, that's... yeah. No, no, I don't have any. And you just hide your belly. Yeah, you have one. <laughs> it's, it's like... It's brutal. Anyway, ask them if they... The, number four. Ask them if they are traveling with anyone else. If they answer pro positively, ask them for specific names. Note this information in the space below. Ask them if anyone... Uh, ask them if anyone they were traveling with had been injured or infected. Mark I in the square if someone they were traveling with was infected. Ask them if they know anyone who was infected or may have died from infection recently. Look for signs that they are uncomfortable with this question. If they answer positively or seem suspicious, mark an X in the square. Yeah. Ask them if they have uh, any if they have any weapons on their person. Spe specify that this could include guns, knives, stun guns, or any explosives or flam flammable devices. Tell them uh, that to protect the safety of the inhabitants, all weapons must be turned in with you. If they do possess weapons, instruct them to slowly withdraw and place the weapons in the bin on the table in front of them. If they become hostile, or draw your, wep uh, draw your weapon and tell them to assume a prone position on the floor so that they may be frisked. Hmm. If, they are turn if they have turned in weapons or seem to be hiding weapons, uh, write a an A in the square. Tell them that a space will be designated for them in the shelter, but that you cannot guarantee that men will be able to sleep in the same area as women, though children up to the age of 13 may stay with a parent. If they will not accept this, reassure them that you will do your best to find them a space together and mark an F in the square. As in family? I think so. Uh, number four, ask them if they have any questions, listen and, uh, and be understanding, but do not promise anything. If they admit to weapons injury, knowing uh, infected or any other offense, it's an offense, <laughs> mark the appropriate letter in the proper square. If they seem uncooperative because of shock or hostile intent, mark an O in the square here. They tell me if... They tell me I could be interviewing over a hundred people a day, then I pass them on the accommoda accommodation, medical or security teams based on their answers. I don't know if I'm ready, but I guess I'll know in a matter of minutes. And you probably won't be interviewing a hundred, you're probably gonna be interviewing a bunch more. But anyway, we're over. We're out of time for today, and uh, yeah, we've read a little bit more about what went on. I love these, these are re really very nice. They really add a lot of depth to the world, and uh, yeah. That's important. That's really important. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dead State Reanimated. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.